Hello, my name is Lowell Vanderpool and this channel is dedicated to IT students, IT professionals, and anyone who enjoys learning technical subjects. IT professionals and power users are always looking at ways to solve problems and get the job done quickly. A lot of us forget the power of the run command. Now, to get the run command up, I can do the Windows R. That's a good keystroke. And it allows me to pull up the run command. It is different than the taskbar search bar. I come down here, a lot of us use this, but this is just a search engine, but it doesn't execute anything. Whereas the run command using the Windows R is an execution environment. Let's learn a little, little bit more about the run command and how it can make our life easier. One nice feature is I can control how Explorer is launched. So I'm gonna go on my run command and I'm simply gonna type backslash. And that's going to tell the run command to open up Explorer at the root of C. So if I want a quick way to control how Explorer launches, I can simply put backslash at the run command and boom, I'm in the root of C. Often working with users, I need to get to their profile. So I can use the Windows R. This time I'm going to use the period. And it's going to launch an alternative sh shell that takes me right to that user who's logged on, their profile. I see they're my documents, their download, everything that I need to see in their profile. If I would like to look at all the user profiles on the PC, this time I'm going to use dot dot. And that's going to control how Explorer opens. And it will show me all the user profiles on this PC. Quick way to get to your user profiles. Now, if I want to go to a specific directory that the user is working at, Windows R, I'm going to type, I want to go to their download and it will take me right to their download folder. So that's really nice. If I name the folder, it will go right to that folder. Are there other folders that I can open up in the run command? Yes, you can open up documents, video folder with the downloads, the favorites, or the recent. So these are quick ways to get access to those folders just by using typing in the name of that folder in the run command. A couple more things to look at. The run command has an autocomplete. So I can come down here and I can type in, let's say D. And notice it pops up all my D drive related folders and files. I could go back to C and it pulls up all my C, my C drive related folders and files. So it has a nice autocomplete feature. Another nice feature is every command that you type and execute, it keeps a history. So all those things that I like to use, it keeps a history of them. So I don't have to retype them. So those are two nice things about the run command. The run command also has what is known as a shell execute API. That's really one of the features behind the run command. So there's this rich set of shell commands that we can run that can really make your life easier. So if I want a quick way to get to, say, my Windows System 32, I can simply type in shell system with no spaces and it will launch my system 32 folder. Now the beauty of the run command, Windows R, is that I don't have to type that in anymore. Once I've executed that, I can just type in S and notice it's already in my history and I can use it again. Now there's lots of shell commands. You're not gonna use them all, but what you wanna do is go to the video description and there's a download for video notes for this video. Download those and start walking through some of these shell commands and see which ones do you use the most on your server. On your everyday working with your users and keep the top 10. Put them in a text file, put them in a file server, or put them on your flash drive and start using them all. I remember things when I use them repetitively and pretty soon I don't need that notepad file anymore. Find the ones that are best for you that you use most often. Save them as your top 10 and start putting them to use. Control panel is a, such a helpful place for the IT pro and a lot of times if you knew the names of the files that launch the various apps that you use all the time, instead of clicking your mouse, you could just simply type in the, the name of the file that launches the app in control panel and voila, you're ready to go. Let's take a look at those. 
This list that I have in the video notes is pretty comprehensive. Just about every tool that you use every day, the name of the file that launches that app is in this list. You just use the run command, type in the name of the file, and you launch backup and restore, or the certificate app, or the character map, or whatever you're wanting to use in your Windows control panel. I did discover a useful alternative to the Windows run command. He does provide both installable and portable options for this particular software. And I'm I'm a big fan of portable. I can throw that utility onto a flash drive, onto a file server, and use that tool anywhere I want to go. I do not like utilities that install. I will link you to the website where you can look at this tool. I'll have additional information in the notes for this video, and that can be found in the video description. He's done a lot of nice things with this run command and alternative. He has an options where you can put it in your taskbar, you can create hotkeys, all kinds of things. For the IT Pro, you may want to take a look at this. This is a cool little utility. Now that you've looked at the run command and what it can do for you, this gives you the run command on steroids. He has an option to put it in the system tray so you can hide it out of view and then click it on the system tray and it's back up on your desktop. A feature that I really like is that he's add the run as an administrator so whatever you type in at the run command, you can just come down here and click on run as administrator and voila, off you go. So these are really nice things. You Obviously, this guy understands our work and our job and he has added a lot of nice features here. He has a favorites, so you can all kinds of tools Explorer, system tools, utilities, almost everything that you want at your fingertips, he has built into this small little portable run command. Very impressive. If you come down here, you can click the little icon and you get task manager. He added a quick shortcut here that launches the dialog box that allows you to change the name of the computer or put it on the domain, which is something we do almost every day. He also put shortcuts for registry editor, command line, PowerShell, control panel. Seriously, I think you could get addicted with this little tool. Check it out. Another alternative to your run command is a portable utility that you can download from winarrow.com. Group of programmers write this software. I have a lot of respect for them. They have a great blog. If you want some really good insight to Windows, these guys are really good. They have a utility called ExecTI. It is a run command alternative. It's portable and it runs under trusted installer. Now, if you don't know what trusted installer is, it's the most powerful user on your Windows PC. So if you need to access a registry key or a folder or execute a program with the highest privileges in the Windows ecosystem, this will run it under trusted installer rights. Now, this is not for everyone. If you don't know what you're doing, don't use this tool. But for the IT admin, IT professional, this is just a lifesaver. Check it out. I will make sure this is in my notes. Now, after you've downloaded it and extracted it, you can run execti.exe. It's portable. You can put it on a flash drive, network share, and basically you have a very, very powerful run command. There's nothing you can't do with this run command. 